There are many important qualities that can contribute to a person's achievements and happiness, but there is only one that begins sustainable long-term success in all aspects of life, self-discipline. Whether in terms of your diet, fitness, work ethic or relationships, self-discipline is the number one trait needed to accomplish goals, a healthy lifestyle and ultimately be happy. Number one is remove temptations. Self-control is often easiest when a bidding by the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. Removing all temptations and distractions from your environment is a crucial first step when working to improve your self-discipline. Cleaning up is a sign that you are being disciplined and hold yourself to a higher standard. It allows you to stop setting a low bar for your life and take your standards up a level. If you are trying to have better control of your eating, throw away all the junk food. My advice to you is to prepare some healthy snacks that will be easily consumable. If you want to improve your focus while working, turn off your cell phone and remove it from your desk. Practice concentration and committing your attention to a single task. Start small, maybe 20 minutes per day and work up to larger chunks of time. If you find your mind wandering, just return to the task at hand. Number 2. Eat regularly and healthy. Studies have shown that low blood sugar often weakens a person's resolve. When you are hungry, your ability to concentrate suffers as your brain is not functioning to its highest potential. Hunger makes it difficult to focus on the task at hand, not to mention making you grumpy and pessimistic. You are much more likely to have a weakened sense of self-control in all areas of your life, like diet, exercise, work, relationships, you name it. In order to stay on track, make sure that you are well fueled through the day, with healthy snacks and meals every few hours. I personally make sure to always have some healthy snacks on hand. These snacks ensure that I get a dose of healthy protein and fats through the day when needed. Eating often regulates your blood sugar levels and improves your decision making skill and concentration. Allow your brain to focus on your goals and priorities instead of on your growling stomach. Number 3. Don't wait for it to feel right. Improving your self-discipline means changing up your normal routine, which can be uncomfortable and awkward. Habit behaviors are associated with emotions, patterns and memories. Decisions, on the other hand, are made in a completely different area. When a behavior becomes habit, we stop using our decision-making skills and instead function on autopilot. Therefore, breaking a bad habit and building a new healthy habit will not only require us to make active decisions, it will also feel wrong. Your brain will resist the change in favor of what it has been programmed to do. So what is the solution you may ask? Well listen closely, I would definitely recommend you the 2119 rule. Well this rule is simple enough, if you follow this rule you will successfully develop a new habit. Commit to a personal or professional goal for 21 straight days. After 21 days, that goal should have become a habit. Once you have established that habit, you continue to do it for another 90 days. Keep chugging along. It will happen. Number 4. Schedule breaks, treats and rewards for yourself. Scheduling is very important. When trying to reach a goal, you should aim to treat yourself every week you can probably break your big goal down into little milestones. You should try and reach milestone per week. The great thing about milestones is that it can break down the goal and lets you know when you are on the right track. Every time you hit a milestone, you should treat yourself. The treat you give yourself does not have to be something massive, but it should be something that you really enjoy and look forward to. For example, my treat after a workout is a delicious protein shake. It is important that the weekly treat does not set you back in terms of your goal. If you are looking to lose weight, it might not be a good idea to make your weekly goal a top of ice cream, for example. Number 5 and the last step is to forgive yourself and move forward. Developing a new way of thinking won't always go according to plan. You will have ups and downs, fabulous successes and flat out failures. 
the key is to keep moving forward. When you have a setback, figure it out what caused it and move on. It is easy to get wrapped in guilt, anger or frustration, but these emotions will not help you improve self-discipline. Instead, use the setbacks in your plan as learning experiences for the future. Forgive yourself and get back in the saddle ASAP. The longer you are off your game, the harder is it to keep going in a positive direction. Please let me know in the comments below if you could benefit from my video and what other ways do you use to develop a self-discipline. If you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing. I will be posting more videos on how to break bad habits and developing new healthy habits. And remember, together we will achieve a better mindset.